and it affects your margins is this. So you have different customers or clients that you're trying to get involved with, okay? Amazon, Walmart. We're going to use those two as, as two big conglomerates that are out there. Did you know that in their systems and in their processes, they'll actually allow you to sell product via their e-com sites on a, a basis of not being in their stores or held in their facilities. You go into, usually it's defined as a seller marketplace, okay? Did you know that those actual marketplaces allow EDI or document integration, whether it's via an API connection or whatever the connection may be, they allow that. So if you get yourself involved into those seller marketplaces just to get your foot in the door and start getting your product out to their buyers, well, guess what? All of a sudden, now you're utilizing a marketplace just getting your foot in the door, getting your product to flow. And if you have a great product and you now got your foot in the door and they take notice that you're moving product on their sites, guess what's going to happen next? They're going to ask you to move over or be a part of their other processes and their other entities for purchasing. Maybe they're standardized EDI. So there's entry points that you can use with EDI or document integration to get into these new accounts that can vastly grow your business. So why not look into them? Why not call that customer that you've been wanting to get into and say, hey, we have these capabilities. We're EDI capable. We're, we can handle document integration. We would love to do a partnership where it's no skin off your back. You don't have to worry about doing anything we're going to start giving you product and basing it on your e-com sites through our document integration and through those other means and methods. And we're now available. What do you think? Would you be okay with us doing that? Um, because we're capable. Companies love seeing other suppliers being technically driven. So if you're driven by technology and you're driven to handle large amount of orders and you have a great product and you have things in place to take it to that next level, or as I like to say, make you look a lot larger than what you are, you're going to open up those doorways because now they're perceiving you as this big organization, not somebody that's not going to be able to handle the order flow. So Another way of opening up your revenue channels is getting into the seller marketplaces and doing it from an integrated standpoint and thinking and treating your business like it's larger than what it is. Look at some of the businesses that are out there. There's businesses that start with 10, 15, 20 people and their value add is billions of dollars. It happens not all the time, but if you structure yourself and you look at yourself in that way and in that manner of how can I use technology to handle where I would need actual people. And instead of having bodies, you don't have to feed computers. So doing EDI, doing document integration can open up those different ports for you. They can open up those different pieces of, of revenue. You can, you can look at what you have existing, figure that out, and figure out how can you reduce those costs to leverage yourself, to make your margins larger, to do those type of things. Too many people and too many businesses look at that first number of, you know, it's going to cost me X to do document integration. I have yet to meet any company over 24 years that hasn't put EDI in place and hasn't grown their business. Mm -hmm.